There we go. Welcome back. Medieval Dynasty. Our dynasty grows strong. Just quickly posting. Make sure people know, and we'll get going. Stay a while and listen. Stay a while and listen. We should have a fun story this evening to continue our progress towards our dynasty. I noticed the volume may have been off earlier, so yeah, I figured out part of what was going on, why it was quieter. Apparently the desktop audio got turned down, and so if I was a lot louder than the audio earlier, that would be why. Hopefully we're more uh, in line and balanced now. How are you all doing, you fine people? And house. Where should we put the hen house? The hen house. Where is the Henhausen go to be? The Henhausen needs to be placed so we can have the Henhausen. Sechenhausen, not so good there.
Wer war das? Hat sich ein Haus in Kugose? Behenhausen can go there. Yes. That's a good place for the Henhausen. Not sure why it's so slanted. Can they get up there? I don't know that that's a very good place. Uh, is that not so good? Let's turn the Henhausen to the other direction. There we go. Hey, Dragon, how's it going, man? I am. They're building a forest in Hausen. Going slow? Is that a good slow or a bad slow? Oh, in Hausen completed. going to need the grain the ch before we get the chickens. So, where is he? Innkeeper. You're going to change jobs, Innkeeper. We're going to put you back on the smithy. Yeah, you know, usually make you get there early and make you wait for a couple hours. Could I make you wait five more minutes? Could I make you wait ten more minutes? Could I make you wait another hour? You better not be late. At least that's my experience often. No! Our tavern's gone! Ah! Oh wait, that was intentional. Food storage too? Or resource storage, not food. That's food. Uh, craft. Crafty tavern. Hmm. No! I need more logs! Hey, Dragon, you got some logs for me? You can go create a few logs. Oh, good, you're still working. You're finally actually planting the rest of it. You better succeed. You're frustrating me. No logs. Well, 40,000 would do. That, that should um, do nicely to finish up the place. I was worried they weren't going to finish the field in time. Looks like they're finally getting it done, though.
They're so slow. You haven't even finished plowing the field. Come on. There's two of you. You're level three. Pottage. Drool. Eh, we'll do pottage. Make some pottage for our fine folks to eat. I know we could sell the pottage, but right now we need food for our people. you see, Dragon? We made it to year two. And we got a spouse. Unfortunately, her best skill is hunting. But hey, at least she has two threes and a four, I think it was. I'd look, but, you know, that interrupt the flow of this lovely, invigorating, and engaging thing we're doing right now. I do wish the uh, crafting speed increase perks actually worked. That would be nice. So, we have today and one more day, I think it is, of spring. Maybe it's two more days of spring. And then we're into year two, summer of, uh, summer of year two. Yeah, I can spec real well. My tongue work well, so good. Our little temporary village has grown beyond my um, original plan. So we'll have to migrate at some point. But the point was to set up a temporary place to get some things going and get some quests done and have kind of a base of operation to actually build the town that we're going to have as our town as kind of a final point um, and have that not be done until we actually have the technology to build it correctly. I was given a suggestion of a potential place to do it, and hmm, let's just say I scouted out an area and decided where we're going to have it. But no, but no. <laughs> you gotta keep some things a surprise to keep people coming back, right? Oh, also. While I'm thinking of it, give me just a second here. make the 469 gruel. You guys ready to sit through that? 
No, I'm not that cruel. But yes, this is our wife. She's a fine specimen of beauty. She has three in farming, three in gathering, and four in hunting. Gatterer. A dirty RV. We're not too dirty. Uh, we should go get dirty, probably, here. Yes, let's go get dirty. After we drop the food off. Oh, and meat. Oh, good, you're bringing in more. Good, good, good. I need to go check the cabbage man soon. Potage. Cool, cool, cool. Understand that, man. There we go. Ah, there we go. There's some more iron for us. We need that iron. Split that one in twain. Right, let's see. I believe this is a nice little cubby here. We'll clear this one out. about making a lot of uh, the throwing stones with a lot of these stones we're getting so that we can uh, acquire better skills in crafting to unlock more things. I'm thinking about taking over the fields and letting the two farmers we have take over the hen house. Once we have, uh, you know, the wheat to do the feed. Eh, we'll go right. You know that lifelong discussion, should you always go to the right or go to the left? But you always gotta pick one to know that you got all the way through. What do you guys think? What's the vote? 
right or left? Hey, how's it going? We're doing a really, really interesting portion of mining right now. Cool. Ask away. I'll tell you what I know. I'm kind of bumbling my way through it and getting tips from viewers who've played it more than me as I, time goes on. But any questions you have, I will answer to the best of my ability. Pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Um, kind of whatever you want. It's open-ended. I mean, yeah, you can build a town, but you could just build simply just your own house and survive if you want. Um, it's kind of a medieval survival sandbox game. So, I mean, if you want to build a town, yeah, you can build a small town. You can't build a bustling metropolis, but you can build town. I think the most people I've heard that had is like 30-something, maybe low 40s. So, I mean, it's not a huge town by any means. You recruit them. So you have to talk to them and convince them to join your town. So you don't just generate and spawn people that just walk into your town. You actually have to go to the other towns and find them. They're sitting around a campfire looking for... Um, a town to go to and you have to talk to them and convince them that you're setting up a good town. Uh, my goal right now is to get my skills up and just basically survive right now. Um, right now I have the character not having huge ambitions. Uh, his ambitions have actually outgrown him and he's not sure what to do with it. Um, but long term there are some goals that I haven't fully mentioned. Um, I have mentioned there's going to be a, a town, but where I've not mentioned, and what size or anything I've not mentioned. As a surprise for those who watch and get to enjoy the story as it unfolds with our character. Um, we are in year two, the beginning of the spring. We, uh, thanks for the follow. This spring, we got married. We are the Emperor's Chosen. So to start off with, our family died, and so we wound up here trying to find where our uncle was, find out he died too, and we are giving him a chance at, you know, forging a life by being able to take whatever land we wanted. And so we found a mine, we set up shop, and doing our best to make a living. And turns out we wound up with a place for some other people, and they've joined us, and they're working. And not sure what we think about it. I know what I think about it, but the character isn't sure what he thinks about it. From a mechanical perspective, uh, we are working on trying to get our dynasty points up, our reputation. Cool, cool. Now keep in mind, it is not a finished game. So, they're still working and coming out with more and more and more stuff, so I'm really happy about that. Okay, just want to make sure. Um, a lot of people are like, well, the game's not working all the way. Well, it's not done. It's Oh, we need to run back and do this mission, too. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we know what we're doing tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Like, I, I, I don't sweat bugs, because, I mean, name a AAA game, and it has bugs. 
why shouldn't a smaller dev team be permitted to have bugs? So, part of why the character is taking up mining and stuff is because, yeah, mechanically you need the skills, but role plays wise, he's, um, it's quiet in a mine. You can think and be by yourself and think about where all this crazy stuff is going and what you want to do. And, oh yeah, you know, crafting's kind of fun. I like building metal tools. So that, that, that's the character's mindset. No, I would really like it if they did co-op, but as of right now, it's single player only. I am looking forward to when they add horses in. Um, they have a skill that says you can ride horses, so my guess is they plan on adding horses, otherwise that skill is kind of moot point. Um, but that would be definitely useful, and I think it would really improve the game if they would bring in a quicker means of transit going across the world. And there you go. If you have questions that I can't answer, Dragon probably can. Blue Dragon has many more hours into this game than me. And I, I, Dragon, I'm still excited I was able to actually answer a question for you for once. That was fun the other day. Um, do, depends on what you call big. Um, it's not empty by any means. There's quite a bit. Um, Dragon can make it from all the way to all the towns within a day. Um, I haven't been able to master that. But it is doable. It's a good size. Um, they definitely could make it bigger. But give me just a second here and I'll show you. We'll uh, pull up the map so you can see. So this is the world map. We are right up here. Uh, right here is kind of the northern border. That's why you see it kind of this curves and then stops there. So right here, it's kind of a cutoff point. You can't go beyond that. And then can't go beyond it, can't go beyond it. On the side, can't go beyond it on this side. And then on the bottom, can't go beyond here. But you'll see there's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different towns that you can go visit. And each town has kind of a different flavor and a different style and kind of a different focus, which is kind of cool. Ten? Did I miss one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where's the tenth one? Yours? You're saying my own? My town is the tenth one? Okay. You're saying this little homestead? I call this more of a homestead than a town. It's a three-person homestead, a guy and two daughters. So I guess you could call that a town. I call it more of a homestead. Unless there's a different one you're talking about. Okay, yeah, no, I, I don't call that one a town because it's, it's too small to be a town. It's literally a guy and two daughters who have a homestead of their own. I, I really can't see that town. I could see you, the town you make, being counted as a town, as a tenth town, but not that one. I mean, they don't even give it a name. How can it be a town if they don't even bother giving it a name? It's like Sambor. He, he has a place of his own. Should we count that as a town?
The Hermit Hunter. Oh, and that's the other thing, Silent Fairy. Uh, the quests that they give you are a good way to get introduced to the world and kind of give you a path to follow to help you learn the game and, you know, get your footing in the world. So I, I do like the quests they give you actually help you understand and play. I wish they... The only thing I wish about the quest is that they'd introduce Alwyn a little bit different. Because um, he has a whole little quest line. So I kind of wish they would introduce him a little differently. Like say, hey, your uncle had an apprentice named Alwyn. You should go talk to him. Or something like that. To direct you... Somehow direct you to him. To get the engagement happening. Other than being like, oh look, there's a quest. Like, I'd like it if uh, the quest, you could find out about them, like where they're at, by going and talking to um, the tax man here. Uh, what's his name? Not just taxes. He's the he's basically the guy who runs this land for the higher-ups. Um, can't remember his name offhand, but if he would actually tell you, hey, there's someone in this town looking for help, and then, yeah, you can go over there and find the exclamation point. Basically... Have it a little more immersive about getting the quests. Yeah, Ungest. In, 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 however you say that. Unigost? Unigust? I butcher names. I'm sorry. I'm terrible with names. I'll fully admit that. I wish you could, Dragon, I, th I think it'd be awesome if you went to him and he's like, yeah, I heard, uh, you know, this person in this town has, a, you know, something they need help with. So you have more of a immersive in-world resource on getting them instead of just, oh, look, there's an exclamation point on the mini map or on the map. Let's go over there and get the quest because we need the points. What do you think, Dragon? Would you like that or not? Mm-hmm. I mean, they have a good basis for, you know, really story focus. So I really would like it if they did that. I, I think it would also help if people had more of a voice in the game. Like the NPCs actually had voice. But there's never a single... There's sound effects, but there's no words. Even if it was base, basic, you know, banter in the bar or in the tavern while they're eating and stuff.
Just something to make it, the world feel alive instead of just... Oh look, there's background music and the sound of drinking and chopping. But don't get me wrong, it is fun, and there's a lot of things they did right. There's a lot of things they did right. Yeah, weird looks. I just like the idea of making it more immersive and feel more story. Like, it, it's... They give it the feel like they're trying to make it be a story. But... It feels like it's an incomplete one. Because it's like... It doesn't feel as storied because they don't have it. Like, they don't need a voice protagonist. I'm not saying that. I actually wish they gave you the choice between a few background stories to start. But, you know, have the NPCs talk to each other some. And, you know reply to you in dialogue so it feels a little, you know, better. skyrim -ness. Or, well, not just Skyrim, but, you know, Elder Scrolls style, where the main character doesn't have a voice. Sure, that's fine. The people can put their own to it, but where the NPCs actually respond. I mean, they don't need to get, like, huge professional voice actors. Just a person talking is fine. I'm not expecting, you know, Skyrim grade voice acting from them to hire, you know, professional voice actors for this stuff. Just, they can have their own developers, for all I care. Or ask the community. Aw, oh, blue! I can smell it from here. Lower left-hand corner of the screen. Blue knows what I'm talking about. Oof. Melly. Something about working in a mine all night. Well, all day and all night. We got the smelly warning! We got the smelly alert! There we go. They need belt lanterns. What do you think, Dragon? Do they need belt lanterns? I think belt lanterns are yes. Oh, what was the game? Um, dragon, dragon, dragon. Ah, uh, what was it called? I can see the game in my head, and what it's called. I can't quite recall the name, 
but I can see the actual gameplay and everything in my head. Sorry, I have to. It's bugging me that I can't think of the name. Uh, Dragon's Dogma. Dragon's Dogma. Dragon's Dogma had it where knights were dangerous if you went out, and you could actually attach a lantern on your belt, so you could still have light when you're fighting with two weapons. So that way we could equip a lantern on our belt while we're mining or doing other things and, you know, not be without light simply because we have a two-handed item. Cool, cool. Thank you. I'll take a look here in just a moment. All right, clear that. Well, there's another pickaxe broke. At least we made him. Oh, dragon, that is nice looking. Oh, dude. Look at these picture from dragon. Way to go. And that, man. Well done, dude. Wow. Well done. I wish they had a screen con screenshot competition like they did for this land. It's my land for uh, Medieval Dynasty. I'd vote for you, dude. Those are awesome. Well, that's the end of this mine. Nope, it's not. <gasps> we missed. We missed some. How could we miss him? It's alright, we got him now. Oh, you know, I understand. That's why you should uh, make a hard save and always keep it. 
and then you can start over and have both. And then you can actually do a side-by-side -side comparison. Oh, nice. We'll be back. Behave yourselves. I'll do a dragon move because he tells me to do it. Lame dragon, he says to do it. You know, you should actually set a town up right at Unstuck, so you could always fast travel home. Oh, interesting. Pretty cool. I think I'd probably fence in the field and have it where you have to go through the barn to get to the field. Stupid wolf didn't know who he was messing with. Where on the map is your town located out of curiosity? I'm curious where people have chosen to set up town. Because, I mean, like, you can't hear. It's too bumpy. Unless, of course, you want, you know, a terrible town. 
that doesn't fit and spans huge area. Even then, I doubt you could actually place buildings because it's too bumpy for that. We're going to test someone's theory. They said that you can turn in quests while the person's sleeping. Hmm. Was truth stated that? That's the door. That's the question. Hey! Oh wow, you can! Hey! Here you go. Oh, Dragon, we got a quest that I really want to do. We can't create Dobbs, so I can't finish the mission, because no one sells Dobbs that I can find. So, we're basically fail a mission because we're given one we cannot do. So right here, or right here? Section 1, Section 2. Oh, so over here, you're saying? Like, near that river? So, further west, along here, up further, so this fork here cool 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 I'll have to check it out sometime it looked pretty flat in that area actually uh, I actually my test town when I was testing out the game to make sure I you know kind of knew some of the controls and didn't come in blind I set up a little place right here it was pretty cool. I had my traps in this little forested area here. And then I built here. And I could easily just go across the bridge if I needed to, to go up here or back down here. So, built here. Uh, unfortunately, the hills got a little bit much here. Here's decently flat. But right here, it starts getting hilly. So it made it kind of tricky. Right now I'm set up here. Uh, I can't go too much further this way because of this town. I can go a bit further this way, but this is all hill right here. So right here is a little bit flat, but then right here is all hill. Here is a little bit flat, and then very mountainous. So I'm kind of pinched in in this small area, but I'm okay with that. Um, 
it was kind of an intentional choice. Uh, I did try to set up a little place before... Um, where is it? I always forget exactly where it is. Is it here that the mine is? Or is it closer to the river? I think it's right here. Um, but I tried to set it up near the mine over here, and there was literally nowhere you could build until you went way back out. I actually thought about setting up a little hunter shack out on the island and having that be kind of like, hey, we don't feel like really hanging out with people or being a loner after our family died. And just setting up a little cabin here and just doing hunting and, you know, work with the people, sure. But having just a little place for us and our family. Nice. Cool. No, it sounds like a pretty good spot. Like, if I remember correctly, like, this whole area, once you pass here, kind of, like, flattens out, or is gradual slant. Like, this whole section here is fairly flat, except for, like, a little bit of a mountain range here. But there's a lar large swath of flat area in this area. So, yeah, no, that's definitely a viable area to do it. So no, I'm totally with you on where you placed it. it that 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 is a good place. <laughs> I'm planning a little different. All right, I need a quick biohazard reduction. Give me a moment, and we'll press on. I'm going to go ahead and let the lovely night continue, and let you enjoy the view of the wonderful night here at town. And I'll be back in just a moment. I'm back and it's still night time. I expected as much. We're coming up on the final day of spring. Final day of spring.
that would be useful or even just free build where there's nothing in the world no buildings no towns I mean sure the towns are there the structures but not the people so there's no life in the game no people no animals and it's just you have infinite resources and it's just build see what you want to build and try it out see what works because yeah you never know where you can fit things that's one of the tricky things I found like okay you can't flatten the ground uh, or make it so we can flatten the ground maybe we can have the um... sorry my brain froze on the name of the place The excavation shed. Why can't the excavation shed be tasked with terraforming? They flatten the area around town. Hey, prepare this ground for a building. Hey, you know, things like that. It would make sense that they would be able to do some terraforming. I mean, historically, it was done. Hey, this is a great place for a town, but, you know, we can't really build in this area. Okay, well, fix it. Fill in the swamp with dirt and rocks. Oh, look, now we can build. Well, this is a great place on this river. Uh, it's a little bit, you know, a little bit uh, slanted over there. Okay, fix it. Oh no, the water is going to erode our land out. Okay, jam rocks in there and make it so there's a wall that keeps the water back and doesn't let the ground get eroded. <sighs> Please? don't know that I really need you. I already have three farmers. Well, rank three farmers. I don't know how many rank three farmers I have, but I have a few of them. Oh, dragon, so you can see the people. Here's what we have for our people. I picked uh, Carolina. Car Carolina? Uh, she was from this one. Veronica. So Carolina was from there. She was the one we wooed. Um, found out she's strongest in Hunter, which was odd, but she does have farming and gathering. And then we have a farmer extracting individual. I think that's extraction, right? Is that what that's called? Harvesting, extracting, what do they label it as? Oh, that is cool, man. That is cool. Um, we'll call it the mining skill for now, because it's trees too. But we have a level 3, a level 3, a level 3, a level 3. Um, hunting. We have a level 3, a level 3, a level 3, a level 3. <laughs> Crafting. Level 3, level 3, level 3. Diplomacy? Nah. No, nothing we can build uses diplomacy right now. Hunting? Four, three, 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 three. Gathering? Three, 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 three. They all have at least one rank three skill. And a lot of them have two to three rank three skills. Um, Lamberta and Rosalinda are the two that only have one at rank three. Hey, I've been picky, man. I've been so picky. But yes, I got lucky on them too. You're totally right there. I am very impressed that we got that lucky.
don't think there's anything there we need. See, I'd love to be able to actually build the road, too. Like, the road isn't much different than, um, the tilled ground for the field, by the looks. So I wish we could actually build the road in bridges. On my test run, I married a lady from Gustovia, the first town, and she was uh, rank 4, rank 4, rank 3, rank 5. I was like, oh, and like her crafting was rank 5. But I couldn't find her on this playthrough. I found other pe names, but not the one that was the rank 5 last time. I was like, rank 5 crafting, that's awesome! And I had someone recommend marrying one of the workers, but like, here's an example. This is just a random lady I found, and she has a rank 4 skill. So I'd rather go take a little extra time and get a higher grade spouse than do the easy route and, you know, not have that. Oh, that looks nice. Across the water from it. Mm. Nice dragon. And you got some good looking picks there. Yeah, here's the mine. And there's the bear. But I've tried all around here to set up um, a resource barn so I could just drop stuff off. I couldn't find anywhere around here that I could put it. Like, nowhere here I could fit it. Ooh, that looks nice. How did you get the stone walls and... It's on the wheels. You just did that for decoration, I take it. But how'd you get the stone walls? I've not seen any stone walls listed. Did I just miss their location?
I mean, that looks really nice, man. Very nice. Why is he having difficulty skinning? He keeps stopping when I'm telling him to do it. Bah! Wrong direction. Don't need it that badly. Okay, so you can change the material on a fence, or what? I didn't know that was possible. I really wish they'd get like a hand cart or something like I'd mentioned earlier. You know, j just some things that would be realistic for this time period to help move things about or do things. Like, in town they have that uh, log or carrying sled or whatever in Gustovia as looks. I wish you could actually get that and use it. Yeah, I saw that. There's a few of them. I didn't know they were all under, just counted as fences and just different materials or choices. That is good to know. Thank you. By the way, do tier 3 buildings, what are they made out of? Like, are, are the higher tier buildings made out of something other than the wattle? Because I, I really don't want a town with, you know, all nice stone houses and then a bunch of wattle buildings. And you can't even daub them, so it's like, they look terrible. Uh, I see some... I didn't pull the picture up all the way. I just know you can't control the walls like you can on the house and change the material. Some more luxurious dragon pictures. Yeah, I saw those nice.
Okay, so it looks like you do get the barn out of stone. Is that tier 2 or tier 3 that makes it stone? Oh, nice. Palisade. Wish you could turn the Palisade stone as well. That would be nice. Nice fields, man. How many people do you have? Okay, so tier three is stone. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You just proved my point of my plan. Thank you. I love when I have hypotheses and theories and decide to do something on kind of a... It feels like it's the right thing to do, and it turns out it is. It just makes me grin and chuckle. I had too many, I had 43, so I kicked some out. So I'm down to 40. Love it, man. Love it. And Silent Fair, if you're still here, that, that kind of answers your uh, question about size of town. We'll go sell stuff. Day's about done. And why is it that you can't buy Dob from anyone? Like, what's with that? Why can't you buy Dob? You think someone would be willing to get paid for it? They did. Hey, show me what you got. Show me your goods. There we go. 
slowly trying to make our money back. We were at 9,000. We're down to four something. Oh, interesting. I didn't know you couldn't do that. Diplomacy. We don't have any buildings that can use diplomacy. Give us a building that can use it. Give us a shop. We can make money. Then, then it would be worthwhile. I don't see why they couldn't be roommates and I mean I kind of wish you could do that like they say four people can fit in there why can't we assign just four males to one building and just say hey you're all roommates you know college dorms do it all the time right Ah, I can't bring myself to sell that. Ah! Ooh, a stick. You know, ooh, penny. I mean, the way they have it, you're basically forcing people to get married. And I mean, I'm sure a few of them wouldn't mind necessarily that, you know, having someone arrange a marriage for them. I'm sure some of them would oppose to uh, being told they get to live with someone as a spouse. You, you, you're married now. Go do the thing. But I don't like him. Cause you know, you've never heard that before, right? Show me your good stuff. Animal feed. <laughs> are so expensive. Why are buckets so expensive? And how many buckets do you need? Yeah, I know you can only daub or limestone houses, which I think is unfortunate. I don't know why you should be able to. You just need one bucket for all the water for the tavern. You only need one bucket. I mean, if we do, great. I just, I'm kind of surprised that you only need one. Okay. 
we will try one. I just, I don't want to have to wait till cows to be able to try to bake. I think that's kind of crazy. You have to have cows technology unlocked to be able to get a bucket so that you can get water to bake. Um, there's a river right there. Here, take a water skin or something. Especially since farming seems to take me forever to level up. I just... Farming does not level up for me fast. Probably because I don't do it. So, maybe that's, that's part of why I'm considering switching and doing the farming myself. So that my skill goes up, but also that... Um, it actually gets done. I'm not convinced that the people did it. So I need to actually check the management, I guess, and see if they finished the field, because last I knew they hadn't finished plowing or planting. And it's not that big of a field. No, I know they're better, but you have to have the cow technology to get the bucket. Cow shed to get bucket. So yeah, the goats are better, but you don't have bucket until you have cow unlocked so you need 3500 points to get a bucket like a bucket is like super advanced tech our civilization has made it we have the bucket It's like you get the wheel before the bucket. Let me stick some clay on this waddle uh, basket that I can make. And, you know, guess what? Now it can hold water. Such a bore. It's kind of like you have to wait till Goose to get Dob. What? Why is Dob under Goose? You have to have wool? Interesting.
Yeah, I wish the tiers weren't so much as like they are. Like, I wish they'd do away with this. And have it where these technologies actually take a certain level of skill. And the buildings, you have to spend technology points to unlock. So if you want to skip the storage, the resource barns, and just save up the points to get tier 3, maybe you can do that. But it's going to cost you everything to do it. You know, it's going to cost a ton. have it where you can spend extra money and like purchase technology points from him. I could see that being very viable too. You know, I guess with the amount of hunting we do, it's probably legitimate that we married a hunter. Hadn't checked their uh, resources in a while, figured it probably should. Alright, we're almost back home. We're almost back home. We're getting there. And no, you didn't have anything we needed. Oh, it starts raining. Just in time to get home. Ah, ram you. Did you finish your field, or do I need to employ someone better? Oh, you did! It took you five days, but you finally managed to finish your work. Lame. And does it show that you finished it? Good, good! You're not an utter and absolute failure. Oh, I forgot. I really put you at a disadvantage. I am sorry. I forgot to leave iron for you. Whoops. My bad. That was my mistake. I will not blame you for not doing your job when I didn't give you the resources.
two iron and a stick. Get to work! Get to work, you lazy! Herbert the Shrubber! I believe it was there where our tavern was first founded, and thus shall be replaced. Wow, really? Can't go any lower than that? Really? Just, I mean, seriously. You just, I mean, come on, just, really, come, just, ah, just, come, no. Fine. We got water walls! Water, water, water walls! Oh, they're wooden walls. Oh. <sighs> Waddle and wood. Huh? Why would you put a water wall with. A wood wall? Eh, it's confusing. Oh, we need more planks. How many planks? Six. Hmm. Six, 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 four, two, one, two, three. Right? So where it is? Two in the middle, two on the ends? Six total, or is it eight? It was six apiece, right? Yeah, six planks. So, 36? Yeah, but, like, there it's wooden walls, and then the doorway is wattle instead of wood. And we gotta make our planks. Plank King! Ooh, maybe we're the Plague King. Or are we the Plank King? Uh, fish jaws.
Yeah, I wish you had that much logs. Good. I like trying to make people laugh. It's, it, it's part of why I'm trying to build the community and have fun. Tell stories, but, you know, sometimes just tell puns and laughter. I always feel better when I can make someone laugh and have a slightly better day. Then again, I never know necessarily if people think what I say is funny or if they even understand what I, the uh, puns made. Like on uh, This Land is My Land, I mentioned not having coconuts when we went off riding. That was fun. It can. It can. But I mean, you gotta have some jokes. Otherwise, life just is too dull. I mean, that's part of why I love using games to create stories. And I like role-playing them and, you know, having content actually there, not just the basic, this is the game story, but what is the story you're telling with the game? Yeah, we may be forced to have the same named character, but my character should not be your character. You should have different motivations, different feelings, different plans, goals, objectives. At the same time, when we're not doing the actual story, joke around, have fun. Life is too short to be cranky. Enough negativity and nasty in the world. Let's have a you know fun, relaxed, positive time. And unfortunately, as some streamers try to not keep it clean, I try to make sure we keep it clean because you never know who's listening and, you know, better safe than sorry for you. I'd rather it be um, safe for work than not safe for work. Now, they may not want you, you know, watching at work, but it shouldn't be that someone hears a word said and be like, uh-oh, you're in trouble now. It should be vague enough where you have to know what's going on to catch some of the references if they could be debatable. And debatable is, you know, not necessarily bad, but, you know, certain puns are better for certain people not to hear. Because they may not know how to take them. And so those ones are left more vague and referential based on viewing on the screen. You know, I could probably use all these sticks to make a billion hammers with the iron we have. We can get hammered for days! No, that's cool. It's uh, and that's the thing. I mean, if I de if I do it right, you shouldn't get all of them, but you should get most of them, and it should make you you know chuckle if I did it right, and you know just lighten your day a little bit, bring a smile to your face. That way, it's not you know all just the woes of life. It's some positivity in life.
But thanks for telling me, Dragon. I wondered if people appreciated the puns and joking or not. So, it's good to know. You know, we're going to start losing health. Um, I'm going to have to eat. I was hoping to avoid it. But we're just far enough away I have to eat a little bit. <laughs> disappointing, disappointing. Ready? For science! Ah, uh, Not too bad. I mean, it probably should have hurt a lot worse than that. 20 health? For that big of a fall? Really? Man, landing straight on rock like that? You would have busted your legs all up. Seeking healthcare professional. My legs. Ah, there we go. We got some more. Pigs. And a rabbit. And a meat bag. Oh, dude, that's awesome. That must have been really high. Like, I jumped a pretty good ways. <laughs> it just did that. Like, we jumped from way up there down to there. I mean, that's a pretty big jump. A couple story fall straight onto solid rock, and we barely got hurt. So for you to jump that far, I'm impressed, sir. Kudos to you. I think we have enough feathers to make quite a lot of arrows. Let's make arrows till we fall asleep. Nothing could bad could happen making arrows till you fall asleep. <laughs> Hot metal, hammering, in the dark. Nah, nothing bad could happen. Ouch! 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 Dude, that's awesome! See, things like that should be clipped so that they can be watched again and again and again for posterity's sake. Alright. Get hammered till we're hammered. You know, you just forgot to tell gravity it didn't work.
Wow, that's how you know you fell a long ways. You can, you have the time to say this is going to hurt before you hit. Yep, yep, that's a good way to know that you're gonna, it's gonna hurt. Hmm, that's the ground. It's coming up awful quick. This is gonna hurt. Something like that, right? The bell tolls for thee. I was really happy with some of the puns earlier today on the stream. It was fun. Talk about some, you know, nice throwbacks. Dragon, did you ever do AoE too? Hammer time! Because if we stop, then we're not building hammers. Let's see how many we get before we fall to sleep. 17 and counting. Come on, come on, come on. How many are we going to get before we go to sleep? I doubt we're going to get 223. This anvil we are be so hard. Three and counting. Twenty-four. I'm just wondering how how long it's going to take till we fall asleep because it was twenty-one, twenty-two. I think it was twenty-two hundred hours before we started smithing hammers. So technically, we had two hours in game, which is the seconds that it shows is our time instead of game time. So I'm not sure the exact time dilation on the game. I was asking if you had played AoE 2 at one point, and I said, uh, 
Don't stop! It's hammer time! Because we're building hammers and we can't stop. And we're seeing how many hammers we can build before we fall asleep. Because, you know, we gotta hammer until we get hammered. Maybe? Maybe? And yes, it actually is 223. We're seeing how many we can make before we fall asleep. That's why I said we're getting we're hammering until we get hammered. We're literally hammering until we get hammered and we'll wake up the next morning. And it'll be summer and we won't know how we got there. It was spring yesterday, and we were building hammers, and now it's... it's summer! We work, work, work. I'm actually surprised we made it to 43 already. I, I really thought we were going to fall unconscious before now. We got a lot better stamina than I thought. But yeah, Dragon, do you know AoE 2? I made a pun earlier today. I wanted to know if uh, you got before I explained it to my uh, wife who's sitting here. Oh, okay. In AoE 2, they have um, clerics or priests, that you, uh, is what it technically is, a priest that you can get, and they have the ability to convert the other's units. And so when you convert them, they change from the enemy's color to your color. And when they're doing their ability to convert the unit, they make a nice lovely noise that anyone who's played AoE 2 will know. And that is, Woolaloo! 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 As they're doing, you know, the conversion. And so I said, oh, We're about to get our wife and change her colors! Woolaloo! Woolaloo! So, yes, I, I made that little pun earlier today that we converted the wife over to our town.
Man, we are definitely have a lot of endurance. We've already taken 54. <laughs> that could be. I mean, our house is right next door, and I'm over here beating on the anvil. trying to sleep why are you on the anvil I'm trying to sleep and really I'm just burning time till we fall unconscious because we only had like two hours of in-game time so I don't know if it glitched out and it won't actually switch the time because I'm in the middle of a task or if it actually is taking that long for the two in-game hours. Like it was at most two hours in-game that we had till we're supposed to fall unconscious. Wow! What do you do all day if you just stay at home? Well, she's out working. I see. So what do you think? Do you think that as soon as I stop creating these, it's going to have us go unconscious and that it's just locked because we're in the middle of a task or not what do you think dragon you think so okay I kind of thought it might be because I really think more than two hours have passed I've seen our food bar go down a good bit so I'm kind of curious what time it is unfortunately I know as soon as I'm done it's uh, going to do it I'll stop at 70, I guess. We'll see what happens. We'll test the theory anyways. Yeah, look, look. Yeah, we called it. <laughs> as soon as I was out of the menu. Blah! Hey, like, girl. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Sorry about the hammer. You know, work and all that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Rest well. And just so you know, she doesn't have a job. She can just relax and have fun. And, you know, raise the kid. Good. You're working. Good man. Good man. Alright, so should I collect the cabbages or let them collect the cabbages? That's the question I have for you, Dragon. What do you think? Trust them to collect all the cabbage in time or not? Not my cabbages!
okay. No! Okay, so seven, eight, fifteen. Waddle wall with door takes logs. I think that's a lie. So six, seven, three, twenty-one. Twenty-one, forty-two. Forty-nine. We need forty-nine logs, I think, for that. If I calculated correctly. Yeah, there's sometimes a bear here, so you need to stay alert. Rawr! Ow! the first time I encountered him, I was exiting the town on this road, coming this way, because <laughs> I hadn't been on the map, and he was right up there on the hill, and it just came bounding down right on top of us, biting our face. I was like, ah! No bear hugs! No bear hugs! You have to be clothed before we hug! The double tree! <gasps> the infamous double tree! Check it out! Dude, that is awesome. That is epic. That right there was would be a clip. You guys want to grab it. The discovery of the double tree. Yeah, I love iron tools. I am so glad we leveled up to iron tools. Oh, there's a really cool documentary that I saw on YouTube where some scientists and stuff got together and they actually did um, recreation of the way that iron used to be smelted, like from the iron sand and stuff, and that was really cool. Like before you mining with a pickaxe and actually harvesting it from earth like when you harvested it from black sand it was really cool well done kind of like the start of the iron age iron You know, I bet we could have finished all 223, and it still would not have changed till summer, until we were done. Yeah, I probably should do that. I just don't plan to do a whole lot of woodcutting. This is more because I'm impatient and don't want to wait for them to get the 50... What is it?
49 logs? Was that what it was? I'm more focusing on the mining aspect because I don't have the mine yet and so they can't do that so I'm focusing on doing that. Two chops? Yeah, I believe it. Um, I want to get that more for the mining since, like I said, that's more what we're focused on. And I plan on leaving the tree cutting to others since I can build that. It's part of the RP as well that he's focused on, you know, the iron and the smithing. But hey, that is definitely good to know. Thank you. How many times can you respec with your spouse? Your skills? And why can't I steal their cabbages? you guys ever watch uh, Avatar Last Airbender, like the uh, animated series, not the video one that came, the movie they came out with, but the actual TV series? The cabbages! They definitely made a good running gag of the cabbages. Where a cabbage guy is showing up everywhere and always losing his cabbages. It's fun. You know, why can't I tap these maple trees and get syrup? It'd be a really good boost of calories to survive on. And would, you know, preserve it lasts a long time. Hmm. Devs, can you add that to the game? Add a to the hunter's hut for gathering have uh, maple sap and then you can add the to the tavern sap collect uh, syrup making I'm pretty sure that was known for quite a while I know certainly in US colonial days that was one of the primary things that they did for sugar because sugar was so expensive you had to import it 
that they didn't bother with that. They just made maple syrup and then made maple sugar from there if they decided they wanted to. Like every, it, even honey was hard to come by, so syrup was the thing that the colonials did for everything. Yeah, tree sap, and you just boil it down. I'm sure that uh, they weren't the first ever to, you know, do so. And I know the natives didn't because, oh yeah, they didn't have the metal to boil it down in. That was one of the things they really wanted to trade with the settlers for was metal things. Case in point, like I said, hey, iron axe is so nice. Well, yeah, it's much higher grade if you can have, you know, decent metalworking. Huh, okay. I don't know, I, I need to see if I can find their Discord if they have one and stuff and try to keep up on it more, but I haven't been able to do that yet. But yeah, I, I am curious what all they have added and coming. And I know they're keeping some of it hush-hush, but... Hey, hey, thanks for the follow. Allow me to introduce myself. We are the Emperor's Chosen. Okay. I'll have to check the Steam Forum then. It, having two kids under five, I don't usually get to do a lot of that sort of stuff, unfortunately. Um, kind of, kind of, kind of keep me busy. So, guess I could probably roll back the hours of streaming a little bit and focus on checking out some of that stuff. That's where I have to kind of decide what to do. Yeah, follow and watch is great support, man. And then tell any friends that you know. Have them join in the fun. I'm all about trying to grow a community and have fun and relax and chill. I mean, you can ask Dragon. I got him giggling here earlier with some puns and stuff. Great. Love relaxing, having a good time, keeping things clean, enjoyable. Making life, you know, hopefully a little better. Dragon's been helping me out on a few tips on this game, so that's been fun. Timber! another one. No! Oh, let me pick up my logs, you jerk! Ah! No! Do you see that? Ah! Oh, oh, they won't let me get my log in my feather. No!
Will that work? I'll try it. I'll try anything. Doesn't seem to like that. Hello? At least we got the log. <laughs> oh dude that's awesome glitched your way to the end of the world yeah now I'm stuck on this part oh there it goes have to do that to get back in the field. The world is flat. Yep. I mean, you could always go with uh, the Elder Scrolls version of you can see through a little spot or you get caught and slip through somewhere that didn't have the proper collision and you fall off into oblivion. At least they had it where you fell back into the world. I give them credit there. Hey, a quest! Maybe this time it won't be for Dob that I don't have. Okay, I should have tried that. Let this work for now. I think we have enough, though, to finish uh, our tavern. We're definitely going to need more. Yeah, I've, I've glitched uh, a few times. Done some interesting things. Uh, it should say in the uh, stream title, we just rolled into Season 2, so Summer, and we started the stream in Season 1, which is Spring, and we are in Year 2. We have been married for one whole season now. We got married the first day of spring. Um, because I can, I guess. I want to be able to bake some bread because we have some grain, but we don't have an oven. And now we do. And the meat just, sure, you can cook it by the hundreds and then have enough food trying to do something a little different. Yeah, I got metal tools year, year one. It's the uh, focus of the RP that we're doing with it. You better get all my cabbages in there. Get busy. Five. 
part of it was because I knew there was a bit of glitching with the uh, farm hands, so I went ahead and made it five so that I could try to uh, actually get them to handle the fields correctly. Um. Hmm. You're actually pretty good in the farm, aren't you? Yeah, you were. Let's have you go ahead and do some milling of the grain. Ooh, wow! I didn't know they were going to make that many cabbages. They made the cabbages. Man, we got a lot of cabbages. Good work, good work. Keep it going. Hammer time. Mm-hmm, hammer time. Upgrade! We're going to upgrade everyone, even though we know we're going to totally tear down this whole town. We know that, but the characters don't. Yeah, well, we had a lot of stone, so we made stone houses. No! Oh yeah, I'm definitely on the bump and grind still. I'm waiting for that. I've not had his story progress. Uh, in my test, I went to year three on the standard three day default. And never did get a progression on his story. So I am curious to see where that goes with the wolves. So, that would be interesting. And unfortunate, because then you wouldn't have the connection with your uncle. And then you might have an issue of where you wouldn't actually be able to lay claim to the land. Okay, well, we'll see. I'm going to roll with it. Whatever happens, happens. All right. 
And we have six. Aww. No, I agree. I appreciate that, Dragon. The story should be something people get to enjoy and discover. Do the resource barn too. What is the difference between the storage one and two? Do they carry more? I mean, what do you need bigger? Oh, bigger storage. There you go. What do you need workers in the food shed or the resource storage for? I don't see any reason you'd ever put a worker in there. Is there a reason? You're on the water, doesn't this count? Uh oh, I see what you said. But hey, hopefully soon they do. I hope not until they implement other things. Like a means to defend yourself. I mean, I guess this works for defending yourself, but if they get close enough, you should have a trudgeon or something you can use on them. Which I know they have that for the pigs. Right, I was going to have you do that. Uh, brain fart. Uh, let's fix that. Why are my hunters happy and everyone else isn't? Is there something I need to know about my hunters? Eat rye to make it, really. Wow. Don't complain about not having the resource. You'll have it soon enough. Yep. And why can animal feed only be made from wheat? Like, why, why can't we make animal feed from rye or oat? Why only wheat? Why can't chickens eat cabbage?
Yeah, see? Straw and grain. Why? Eh, maybe. Just makes it so we have to go, you know, raid other farms at uh, all. That's true. What I find funny is all the craftsmen that we found are actually men. We have three people who have good crafting skill and they're all men. So we can't have a lady take care of our ta uh, our tavern. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I know it's very possible to do, but they don't seem to always, you know, allow it to happen. Wait, meat tart? You can make a meat tart already? How? I hadn't unlocked that. Is it a free unlock? shall do flatbread. All the flatbread. Well, I guess I could have you do the pottage, too. Nah. We'll just have you do the flatbread. Hey! Sleep well. I'm just gonna be cooking while you're sleeping. Um, how do you get cabbage seeds? Do you have to buy them? Oh yeah, it is. We're gonna make it till daylight. I was hoping so, because I was just thinking, I don't want to have to always go buy more seeds. That's inconvenient. I think what we're going to do next time is do rye in the winter, onions in the spring, and cabbage in the summer to fall, and then again rye in the fall, because that would allow us to get the onions for the onion flatbread, which is more nutritious than the flatbread, but still doesn't require the water or any of the other things. Yeah, Jadillion, if uh, you want to see some awesome pictures, you can join the Discord. Uh, Blue Dragon posted some amazing pictures of his uh, town there. Okay, I hadn't seen any seeds yet, so I wasn't sure.
you should look at Blue's pictures and that will kind of answer the question for you. Yeah, I'll check the barn after. This is Since we're in town already, I figured this is a good um, nighttime activity. Try to get a whole bunch of pottage cooked up and then we'll go sell that and let them sustain on flatbread. Maybe leave some pottage depending on how much we have for uh, calories available. I think we had like 4,000, so we have plenty for now, so if that's the case, we'll go sell it. And you think uh, the shenanigans I say and get up to on this is fun? You should join us tomorrow afternoon if you can for uh, Fallout New Vegas. We're doing Tale of Two Wastelands. We are a science-crazed coffee addict who is, yeah, <clears throat> interesting. But I love the pictures you posted, Blue. That Those are very nice. It really excites me to get to where we're building our town. You know the map pretty well. Do you know the Southeast Mine? Okay. I don't know all the mines, so I, I know of three of them. I know the one right where our current village is. I know the one that we went to earlier that is basically straight south of the starting town. And then I learned about one in the south. And I had heard there's at least a couple more, but I don't know where. Yeah, our town is actually right there on the north one. Um, right between uh, Bron Bronica and Baronica. <laughs> yeah, I go ahead and craft them. Yeah, for, for my character, I kind of push the metal route for his uh, RP reasons. Um, basically, he likes, with all the crazy going on and what has happened in his life, he's taken a liking to hunting and doing uh, spelunking and then crafting better tools to do that on his own instead of having to go 
deal with people. He's kind of unsure about this whole village springing up around him thing. Well, you can always ping on the Discord or elsewhere. Um, like, my Discord has a few people who've played, like, Blue. And you could ask where some good flat areas to set up town are. And Blue being here in channel, I'm sure would tell you a few nice flat areas he's found. Five mines. Wow. All right, Blue. You definitely are winning on that one. Not surprised there. Five mines. I did not know there was that many. Wow. Wow. If you could hit them all up in one season, like hit them all up every season. Wow. You could have easily like a thousand iron per season. Yeah, no, I hear you there. Um, I'm actually saving a very large portion of my construction budget to go start the new town when I do that. You can have villagers mine the iron for you later on. You have to unlock the mine to do that. The extraction shed works for limestone and clay stone. But you have to have the tier 2, which is the actual mine, to have villagers get the iron for you. Which is the non-RP reason that I went for the iron myself. So I found a good reason for RP, why the character would do it, to make sure it fit. You know, when is it going to be morning? We've been at this for a while, and it doesn't seem like it's morning yet, but it should be. Oh, the mine can have two workers. Hmm. So that means you can have 10 people working mines across the map. Is that what you're saying we should do, Blue? Well, yeah, but we're, we don't want to not be home at all. We kind of need to be home some, otherwise her wife is going to get mad at us. How much iron does the one mine produce a day, Blue? If you know. Which wouldn't surprise me if you do, but I'm just saying, if, if you do know, how much does it produce a day? You didn't set your tent up very close to a mining location, as far as I know. Is that, uh, like IRL2 or not? Because usually if you do that in uh, IRL, um, the reverse also happens, which isn't as fun. Ah, okay. <gasps> We're cooking with the fire out. Check it out. Dude, we can make pottage without a fire. We are masters. Exactly. And that's the thing. She's with me here. 
both in real life and on the game. Yep, magic pot. We have magic fingers. Or something. The pot is still hot, there you go. Oh, yeah, 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 that's it! It's cast iron, so it's still hot. It's still cooling down. Yeah, 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 it's cast iron. It kept it, It's keeping its heat for a while. <laughs> In real life, you are absolutely correct. Oh look, it's light out. It's finally morning. Hey, hon, I've been up cooking all night. How did you sleep? Okay, so pretty good, pretty good. All right, thank you, Blue. Aw, she's still sleeping. Can we get a better bed? I mean, that, that, that is not a very nice bed. I feel sorry for you. Okay, so I won't get as much to start with, because I don't have 10 skill. Alright, we are at skill 8. I wish some of these actually... Do any of these actually work, Blue? Just out of curiosity. Like they say faster, does it actually go faster? I didn't seem to really... F didn't feel like it went faster. Some of it, yes. Some of it, no. J uh, Jadillion, from what I've found. Like, hammers and arrows are pretty decent price to sell. And make, and sell. Um, it is cheaper for the materials to make the tool than it is to buy it. So, for saving your own money, it's worth it. Like, what is this one? Upgrade and downgrade house models. What does that mean? <clears throat> 3rd 800! Yeah! We're getting up to that 5,000 mark. I still need to get hunting up so I can get the uh, recurve.
Okay. So there's really no point to that skill. Okay. I didn't know if they were saying that you could um, actually upgrade the house, meaning change the model to, you know, from the, you know, small to simple to house. I didn't know if they were saying you could do that. Oh yeah, look, there's the seeds. 182 seeds. Pottage. Let's see. Wood demand is five or uh, one point seven. Currently have five twelve. Food is thirteen oh six. Having demand of nine an hour. Okay, we're good for a little while. Why don't you need the other one? Do they not care? Simple, small, simple, and house. They don't care as long as it's simple, small instead of small. Oh, simple, small, simple house. So you're saying at least have the simple house. You don't really need to do the house because they don't care. Doesn't matter. So I had to upgrade this because I couldn't stand the open air tavern. It just bothered me. So if nothing else, I wanted to upgrade it to try to actually get walls around the place. And I did want to be able to make the breads. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll probably do houses for everyone just because, you know, RP. Um, alright, let's uh, head to town, sell what we got, and go from there. Um, I believe, actually, let's go check, make sure we got all of the hammers that were made by our smith while we were out, and then we will see what we can do to go liquidate some of our assets and have some fun. They seem to like when their house is daubed, but I don't see that they like it any better necessarily if it's a bigger house. But maybe I could be wrong. That's where Dragon comes in handy. Okay. 
they, they seem to get more jealous of each other from what I've heard. So like, these guys aren't as happy because their house isn't daubed compared to with them. Or when I had a thatched roof on there, they weren't as happy because they didn't, because they had the, you know, nicer roof. I've seen that. Oh, hey, we're starving. Dragon, you just told them they had to be happier. Get out, right? That's how you keep them happy is for, through Tyranny. Which is actually a really good game. I don't know if you guys played Tyranny, but it's a really good game. So slow. Beatings will continue until morale improves. Do it right. Please, Massa, no more. Don't beat me. I said be happy. Now, now, dragon, be nice to your people. Yeah, it's hard to get flatlanders. Apparently they all moved away from these nice rolling hills. Oh wow, this place is populated. What happened? Ooh, some more threes. Diplomacy, diplom ooh, diplomacy, fishing, and crafting? <sighs> I might have to build another house. Oh my word. Dude, almond. Well done, sir. I think Helmut here, Helmut and... Uh... Yeah, the Dadrawa. I think we need to add them to our town. I bring a torch. Tell me, what can I help you with? Sure, I can do that. That was an accident, so we had to run with it, you know? Hi. Can we be friends? Nice weather, huh? What? She don't like the weather. If they didn't, you know, limit you and make it so they ran all off on you, that wouldn't bother, but... I don't feel like tricking them all over the map. My feet are here in my land. Come on now. Come on now. Let's do this. She might just want it gloomy and stormy. I, I still haven't gotten down which one to do for them. I mean, I really haven't. Eh, hey, that one worked. There we go. Not Norbert. Not Norbert. There's our friend. Hey, look at that. 222-111. Why would we do that? Wait, you were at 70, right? Yes, 74. You need to get 270 as well. 
Yeah, there you go. That, that's true. Yeah, hunting. No! He doesn't like early bird gets to worm. I thought he would. He's a craftsman. Ah! Dragon, I need your help. How do we do this? Oh, you're going to be right back? I got to hop off soon, too, man. My timer's yelling at me. Let me ask you a question. I hold my axe to you. Tell me. <laughs> What do you think of the weather? Oh, I forgot you don't like that one. So he likes the weather. And he doesn't like you asking him about that. Um, hmm. Interesting. But hey, while we're here loading... Be sure to follow and turn on notifications so you know when we're live. If you want to support the channel, there's options below. And as always, thank you for hanging out and having a great time with us. Mm hmm, that one. Aw, what? You don't like people asking how your job's doing? But you're craftsmen. Craftsmen like that one. I am so confused. Every craftsperson I've said that one to likes that one. Except this guy. Every craftsman that I've said that line to approved and appreciated and had like a 10 from it. But not this guy. Oh, this guy has to be different. Blech. Gotta build your house anyways. You stay there. Pout. Yeah, Helmut has Helmut hair, and has Helmut in the brain to talk to him is not hard. The other lady was just like, aw, sweet, aw, sweet, aw, sweet. Okay, I'll join you. I went right through the tree. Not sure how that whiffed, but all right. Why? We've only cut down four? Ugh. All right, all right, all right. We'll cut down birch trees for you. Ah, don't like birch trees. They're a waste. Wasting our axe on birch tree. So delightful. Yep. That's why I said wasting my axe on a birch tree. It takes just as much to chop, and you only get half the logs.
Welcome back, Blue. Welcome back. It does give more sticks? Really? Because I got six off the birch and I got nine off the maple. So here we go. Experiment. Maple? Or sticks that time. Really? That last maple gave me nine. That is interesting. Oh, this one only gave me four branches, but it gave me three feathers. Ooh. Well, I got nine from the last maple. And I got four from that one. And I got nine sticks now from the birch tree. So I don't know. I think it's random. And the birch tree didn't give me any feathers at all. Lame. Oh, I don't have to talk to him. I just got my reward through magic. Oh, check this girl out. She is one stiff girl. And she's 13. Oh, hey! <laughs> You know, you, you know, you, you, you know, that's probably uh, something I should address. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. That is hilarious. Mm. How much will you buy my pottage for? Fourteen, you scallywag! Away with you! I will take my wares and leave you. Blah. Do, 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 do. Let's head north. Peaceful stroll through the woods. Hmm, where are we going? Oh, there's a nice road here. <gasps> there's a town down there. Let's go visit. To market, to market. Bunzai! Ouch! Really? That was a much smaller jump. Lame. I will take your grain. What do you want? Fine. I will build you a lame hammer. I shall build you a wooden hammer. Probably. Keep in mind, they also plan to add horses, and if they added horses, it wouldn't be as big of a deal. What do you need? Uh, sure. Sure, but you can't do anything stupid. Because, you know, kids will never do anything stupid.
Here, child, here's a sharp object for you. <laughs> Be wise. <laughs> he could cut himself. It would be educational. You're all garbage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was actually quoting a movie. Technically, it was a she could cut herself, not a he in the movie. But, you know, had to make it fit. Uh, I'll be right back. You... Show me your wares. Flatbread. For 19. Because I can eat fewer of them and survive. And uh, here's some pottage. Oh well. Hey. Have pottage. I got that stuff you wanted, Tim. Uh, you know, the, the, uh, you know, some stuff you wanted? Yeah, I got, the, I, got, I got it right here. I got the pottage. Yeah, here you go, man. We're the pottage dealer. Uh, the movie is Hogfather. It is the best holiday Christmas movie. So you can bet. Come Christmas around here. Whatever you want to call it. Hogfather. Hogfather's on my list of must-watch for the holidays. Mm-hmm. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. It is hilariously wonderful. A whole new glorious spin to the uh, <clears throat> jolly fat man. Uh, they don't spend six months in the movie, but um, it's definitely a very different take on it. Elbrach, you don't want nothing. I thought you wanted the quest. Mirror. What do you want? Fine. Stone axes. Three. Three stone axes. This is like the third time you've had me do this, man. In like two years. You think you could have an axe last more than a year? When I gave you three of them, like two to three times in two years? That's like three axes a year, at least. Ooh, the pigman has money. Wait, not pigman, cowman. Oh yeah, no, it is, it is great. It is great. Uh, I thought I had something else to sell. Iron arrows. We need to sell some iron arrows. Oh, hammers. Right. Hammer time. Hammer time. Hammer time. Need to go back to that lady. Forgot hammer time. I would love 
to make a D&D character of Susan sometime, but I haven't found the right combination to do. So if you have recommendations how to make Susan in a D&D character, let me know. I got my Discord. You can ping me on there. I definitely want to know how to make Susan. Don't get me wrong. I have some ideas, but it's just not quite right. It still needs a little something to be correct. Oh, well, then this definitely has to be on your list, man. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> ah, I enjoy it so much. Probably shouldn't, but it, it's my type of humor. Are you still want this life? I understand. No, I don't. Lame. We are going to have to call it here, unfortunately. I have had a royal, royal blast with you all. Please follow and turn on notifications so you know when we're live, and join us again next time for some more crazy, wonderful, exciting adventures. Also, if you want to support the channel, there's options below. Discord if you want to chat and have fun. As always, and until next time, enjoy the story. We'll see you all then.